It is caused by a virus called as HIV, human immunodeficiency virus. This disease was first identified in 1981 in the USA and in India the first person was identified in 1987 in Chennai. This is a virus belonging to retrovirus group. What do you mean by retrovirus group? It mainly affects the immune system of our body. When it infects, our WBC fail to identify this virus. It manifests so well that our WBC fail to identify it. They go on multiplying and multiplying. It is having a very simple structure. There is a round double wall layer of fatty tissue. Inside that there is a protein covering and inside that protein covering is RNA which contains the enzyme reverse transcriptase. What this enzyme does? When this RNA enters the body of a person, it is converted into DNA. The cell starts forming all the cell mold materials and they start dividing very fast. The time taken for the full development of this disease is called as the incubation period. It may be from 8 to 10 years in the adults or about 18 months in the babies. They do not show any symptoms immediately and after the incubation period they start showing the symptoms and by the time they start showing the symptoms the immunity of the body is totally lost. That is why it is called as immune deficiency. It mainly affects the cells that develop the immunity in our body. So by that time all these symptoms are shown, the immunity is lost. So the person keeps on suffering from different diseases, maybe suffering from pneumonia, tuberculosis, herpes, meningitis, etc. There may be ulceration of the skin or even the esophagus, there is fever and there may be rashes. There is no any proper vaccine so far, though some medicines have been found out like turfin etc. But still so far no proper vaccine is found out. We are unable to prevent the spread of this disease mainly because this virus keeps on mutating. Right? It spreads through mainly unprotected sex or it may spread through drug addiction or it may spread from the infected mother to the baby or it may spread through the use of unsterilized medical equipments. It does not spread just by shaking hands with an infected person or using the utensils which are used by infected person or hugging a person, no. It mainly spreads through blood plasma. So wherever there is a chance of coming in contact with the blood of an infected person, it should be avoided.
there are different ways of spread of this disease as I told you that is unprotected say drug addiction or from pregnant mother to the child or use of unsterilized medical equipments etc. There is a lot of awareness program being conducted by the government to prevent the spread of this disease. There are road shows, plays are done, there are everywhere there are posters to avoid the spread of this disease. There are so many steps taken by the government to control the spread of this disease. But it mainly spreads due to unawareness about this disease. Use of condoms is encouraged where there is a urge or need to have sexual contact. To a great extent it can be stopped or prevented by the use of these devices. Now this disease can last for a longer time and a person ultimately succumbs to all these diseases which attack at a time and there is no response from the body because the body's immunity is totally lost. So the only way of preventing this disease is providing, preventing the causes through which this disease spreads. There are some medicines of course, but these are not so effective, they are symptomatic, they can suppress the symptoms to a certain extent, but cannot cure them like Javudin, etc. Efforts are going on to find some vaccine for this disease, though HBV and HIV both are more common nowadays, we have vaccine for HBV but do not have vaccine for HIV and we hope very soon a vaccine is produced for this disease also.